So a bomb has kind of exploded in the SEO community. I mean, another one after AI overviews, uh, which is the Google documents that have been leaked uh, apparently by a bot on GitHub. And we wanted to sit down and just have a quick chat about it. I know everybody is talking about it at the moment. So we wanted to kind of put in our two cents. We're still looking into it, which is why I have jump on the bandwagon. And, yeah. And... I mean, we have to be part of the conversation, don't we? I, I, I kind of forced it. It's one also. of those things that you have to comment on, I guess. You yeah. have to, you know, even, even if it is, you know, something which is, it's obviously going to get over-reported and it's going to be yeah. you know, kind of just complete, well, it's just going to be everywhere. Um, mm -hmm. But I think that, you know, it's something that we, we do have to comment on, you know, uh, and we do have to, uh, we have to talk about and discuss. Well, uh, it, it's an interesting topic because, I mean, there's two things that kind of, for me, come out of it. One of them is, what does this mean in terms of, can we use this and how can we use this? And then there's this other reason why I wanted to talk about it is because the reaction online has been, a little bit kind of negative in a way. And um, Alida was saying as well on her post, which kind of resonated with me a lot, um, that actually there's a lot of kind of negative feedback and negativity and, and people kind of pointing out some of the obvious stuff. Nobody's saying that we now know what, how Google is ranking and we're all gonna be mm. running away, changing our strategies and, and saying, oh, we already knew that. It's just, it's. <laughs> Well, I guess no, let's, it's not, it's let's not start from the, our initial reaction then. Right? Right. What's the, the initial reaction of, you know, the, the leak? What's the, the, the initial reaction from the leak? What's your initial reaction from the leak? Um, well, my initial reaction was, God, let's, let's go and have a look at it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I was like super, super excited. Um, and... You know, I immediately went, read a few things that other people have looked at. I know Michael King is the one that him and um, Rand Fishkin came out with it. So mm -hmm. I read their stuff, but I also looked at the, you know, the repository yeah. um, and had a look inside what's interesting, uh, what are some of the modules and, and kind of yeah. things that are mentioned that, that I might find. I'm still, that's why I have my computer because basically i'm still trying to wrap my head around it but the the thing is it is useful it's useful to open up a debate um i think google is getting you know a lot of googlers are getting a lot of slack you know they lied to us which for me kind mm. of i don't think i mean they were just doing their jobs and i think yeah. there's this fallacy in thinking that google is always going to tell you exactly what they're looking for and yeah, they're not going I guess to like a thing. things. One of my one of my initial kind of reaction piece, well re reactions to it and and I guess my opinion is that I I'm I guess my surprise or my kind of I think that that people who you know people are kind of like oh my god you know google, google lied, lied to, to us. us it's like yeah I'm I'm, I'm I find that a bit difficult because it's you know well hopefully it, hopefully it, it does kind of help people now to kind of to kind of put google in like google's always lied like that's the truth they're like you know, they're, they're, they're there for they're, the revenue you know, they, yeah. they, they they are a corporation and corporations lie okay that's just that's just a fact right they're a large corporation and they will lie because they will be behind pr right yeah. Not in just the SEO world, but, you know, obviously on paid media, like they lie, whatever's best for them in, in terms of PR, they will lie. So this, this whole kind of a reaction of like, oh, oh my, like Google have lied to us. It's like, well, yeah. Google's always been lying. Like they, they always will lie. They, they won't tell you the exact truth of exactly how you're going to rank I and think... share these ranking signals and all this kind of stuff. They're always going to have it. But the pedestal that Google gets yeah. put on by a lot of people about like, oh, it's like the holy grail of Google and we must not, yeah. you know, we, it's just, well, I mean, there you go. You know, I think that that's, uh, hopefully it does give people that, that freedom now to kind of go, well, actually, yes, maybe I shouldn't put Google on as much of a pedestal because, yeah, maybe it does. I, don't, you know. I think this is the thing. Google is a company and they will, you know, omit things and sometimes they will, you know, lie obviously i mean 
obviously. I don't blame the people. I think it's not the actual people that work for Google. It's how mm. the business is run. They're not going to tell you everything. And sometimes they are going to kind of misinform people. And I think you have to look at it with a critical lens. And this, yeah. is, this is why this leak is so interesting because it kind of allows us to look at it with a critical lens, maybe more so than in some of the other stuff that has happened. Yeah. So. I think well, the, it's just that the evidence has always been there for me in people's case studies, right? Case yeah. studies that SEOs have done. Like, you know, so, so you know, there's like uh, domain authority, site authority, whatever you want to call it, as like being, you know, a third party metric and all of these things. So all of these things now that are evidenced in the leak that say, well, actually, Google does have these ranking factors or these signals, right? So, but th there's always been proof there of people's case studies where people have already kind of gone, well, actually, like, you know, like, you know, recent links don't matter. It's like, mm. how many times can you have a situation where you look at a case study and go, yeah, links do matter, no matter whether Google said they don't or not. Yeah. And then secondly, it's, I think it's also about like, yeah, it's rightly so, is that but it seems very few people in Google actually maybe even are aware of what's going on. It's like only, only very few people are, are in, of, of the understanding. Like you can't be negative or criticize someone who actually might not be privy to the information anyway. So it's like, maybe not everybody know. you know, maybe yeah. not everybody knows. Yeah. So whoever's saying, you know, oh yeah, little links don't matter or whatever they're saying, well, maybe they don't actually know, no, yeah, you know? We don't know but now that, yeah. we all have access to see, oh, okay, actually, actually there is evidence to suggest that they do, or there is evidence to suggest that this is a rank ranking uh, signal or, or whatnot, so. Yeah, but we also need to be careful about kind of thinking about what was said. I don't know what was actually said around the main authority and how it was, because it, it's also, it's semantics, isn't it? So they don't technically have the main authority or authority ranking. What they have is this site authority. What goes into that, we still don't know. So. You know, yeah, in a way, you could kind one of One of the say, key things from yeah. it is that there's no scoring involved, yeah, right? Exactly, so there's, yeah. you know, this is obviously just the, the signals, right? Or yeah, however yeah. you want to put it, but there's no scoring. So we have all of the ingredients as such, but yeah. we have no idea well, what values they have, you know? Yeah. So we, we don't know whether it's going to be, you know, 500 grams of this or but whatever. But it's still you know? useful. So, but it's useful yeah. because obviously you've yeah, got yeah. A, a map there of things that, you know, you need to kind of, well, okay, like I know that these things must mean something. Um, how do you think, how do you think in general that's going to impact like SEO, like from here? Um, well, I think there's some interesting stuff there that confirmed, as you say, some of the case studies and things that have, um, that people in SEO have been doing. What stood out, there's a few of them that stood out, obviously nav boost, I mean, Let's talk a little bit about that. We've known for a very long time that actually user engagement and clicks and things like that might be part of ranking. Mm -hmm. Now, with this leak, it seems like you're right. Yeah. Uh, what does that actually mean in practice for SEO? I mean, a lot of people have already done some of the, like starting from the basics, like, for example, meta descriptions and title tags and stuff like that. We've been saying forever, make those click inducing. You know, mm -hmm. you want them to get the user to actually click. So that, yeah. that's a little thing that now kind of makes even more sense um, that we've done. The other stuff, I mean, I've made, made some notes as well, um, is around, you know, thinking about search intent. One of the things that has come up out is that actually Google is looking at the click stream. So where do you go after you visited the website? What mm -hmm. other websites do you have a look at? All of those things, which is really interesting because you kind of think that then how you perceive intent and how you look at that and what it entails is quite, quite broad. You have to kind of think about the whole journey rather than yeah. just thinking about that one point in time while people are on your website. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with like formats, thinking about what format the query should be in. So whether it should it be a video or an image or whatever, what yeah. is going to get you that click and that user data that you need 
if we are going with the assumption that now boost is actually something that, that people do. So that came out. The other thing that kind of came out, what was really interesting, is, um, and I was thinking about that, is kind of the manipulation aspect of that. Because obviously we're not talking, they have, um, they have spam kind of filters on it so that you can't just have a bot doing all of this for you. And I know there's been studies before where somebody has tried that and it didn't help ranking, but Van Fishkin did in 2015 his test on Twitter where he actually asked users to go, go and search mm. for, for his blog, and that did increase his rankings. So one of the things, it reminded me of one of our clients that, so we were their second agency and I logged into Google Search Console and one of the things that I noticed is that their impressions and positions were kind of the same, but they've had like incredible clicks. I mean, incredible, the, those are small numbers, but they have, uh, you know, for me that looked pretty unnatural. Like mm. somebody was actually looking for their blog because it was in, you know, it wasn't even, I think it was on page two. Mm. It didn't help the rankings. Now I wonder, was that a strategy? Because at that point I thought that it was a strategy mm. that somebody, the other agency kind of did that. Um, and now I'm wondering, probably didn't work because first of all, you can't fake it. It needs to be real users from different locations and different like Chrome, um, Chrome setups and stuff. That's what I presume. Um, and secondly, the numbers were not just not that high because Rand was saying they more than 200 people actually took action from Twitter. That's that's what he estimates. Mm. So I'm wondering if if the numbers for our client were lower. So there is a possibility of manipulation, honestly, of course. But mm. you know, like finding like 300 people who are going to click on your results and yeah. organizing that. I mean, you might as well just create a really good piece of content that people will naturally... For the same amount of effort. Yeah, for the, for the same <laughs> amount of effort. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, I think one of the yeah. interesting parts that I picked up on there as well um, was the uh, the change history. Um, yeah. I think that's one of the things that I was, I was kind of quite interested and latched onto is that, you know, if Google's storing <clears throat> previous versions of your web page mm. um, and but then it's I think it was something like it's only using the last 20 I can't, can't remember what it specifically is but it's only like saying using the, the, the last 20 versions mm. or something like that so I think one of the impacts from that is that people will interpret that in a way in which it's like well okay I need to update my you know if I want like a completely kind of if I want like a clean more or less like a clean slate, slate for this page so let's just say like say helpful content update right yeah let's say someone's trying to recover oh, yeah. from that, yeah. maybe is what they're going to try and do is think, well, okay, I can get a clean slate if I update my page 20, 20 times. 21 times. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, it's like, so if I update to the point where, so then yeah, at that yeah. point, you know, so that, that, so the thought process of how people are going to kind of operate against this yeah. is that, you know, they will look for like these, you know, like, like that as an example, and then they'll kind of, you know, obviously shift SEO strategies and shift things to think, well, actually, mm -hmm a new practice or a new kind of, you know, these like trendy practices will, will come in of like, oh no, make sure you update your page, you know, you need to update your page at 20, 20 times or 21 times before like, you know, you kind of get away from how it used to be. So you yeah. kind of flush that out of Google's kind of, you know, uh, his, historical view, I guess. Um, mm. So I thought that was, that was, that was quite a quite interesting uh, thing that, that came up. But, but yeah, but I, I think, I think what's also going to happen is that of course, one thing to everybody to bear in mind, and I think one of one of the things that's like a, a quite a key thing is that it's now Friday, and it's it's been you know it's this is this information has been available to us, and this announcement it's been like what four days I think yeah or was it released on Monday so Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday so we're still really early days but from mm -hmm. something which is really really complex now I know Google have kind of you know validated that this is real and and whatever else. Um, but I think that it's such like a complex thing that I think we just need to be really wary about the very quick and fast opinions that people will yeah. form online about saying, right, we've cracked the code and, you know, here's, here's, gonna definitely here's a course, you know, here's yeah, a course yeah. of how you can use the, the Google algorithm, you know, the, the, the Google algorithm uh, ranking signal leaks 
uh, to, you know, obviously blah, 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 and buy my course or whatever. So, uh, or listen to this advice and whatnot. I think the truth is, is that, you know, everyone's in the same position at the moment and we just need to be really cautious about how it obviously can kind of continues is that some caveats there, which are obviously in the original uh, blog post um, on, uh, on I pull rank, isn't it, with, with uh, mm-hmm. Mike, Mike King, but, um, you know, the caveats are there and I think that that's it. We just need to make sure we operate it around there. We, we don't kind of, you know, it's still, obviously it's great information to have, but it's still not like this holy grail of like a how-to document of like, oh, yeah, how you can course. rank number one, you know. So. Of course, and I don't think, you know, like people who are actually doing SEO properly, I guess, are not taking it like that. It's more yeah. of... But like, it's more for, you know, clients. It's fun, and but it's, it's also for... fun. I mean, you know, yeah. I, I, I love going in and having a look at all of, all of the data. Yeah. Um, some of the other th- things that I've noticed, um, a very small one, but an interesting one because we had an SEO getting coffee on it is around authors. So they have mentions of authors and author profiles and that, I mean, author fields, author tags. Um, And it's really interesting because we always talk about whether you should have author profiles and whether that's going to help you with rankings. And I mean, it kind of confirmed what we were talking about in the episode which was around if you're doing author profiles you're doing them really for the user it's more about Mm. building trust unless your author is a known entity which not many are then there won't be that boost in rankings because i think authors kind of work you know it's about those that are entities and their connections to other entities that might then help you rank better but in general i think it's it's you know it's for the user it's to build mm. trust in the users rather than than anything else which yeah is but it, but this is the thing we, we but we know now that obviously yeah. you, you know that, that that it's there and we yeah. know that it's a thing you know it's, yeah. it's not just like pie in the sky kind of like yeah. th- th- you know like a theory it's yeah. actually confirmed you know and i think that's the the truth of it is is that we have all of these you know we have all of these things now that are obviously we can check and we can look at like this document that confirms previous theories or suspicions of you know, indications of, of what could be a ranking factor or what Google's looking yeah. for and things yeah. to consider, you know. Yeah. Um, the other one, the last one for me was the, the bad, bad backlink penalize feature. Right. So basically toxic links. Mm. Oh, there, they've been saying there's no such thing as toxic links. And this has really, I mean, it has confused me a little bit because I was always on that part of saying seriously, you know, the main authority, toxic links, these are all kind of metrics that are are custom to the platforms. Um, I stand by it, they are, but kind of seeing those things in the documentations has made me question it a little bit more, which is great. But also, I'm a bit, for the backlinks in particular, I'm a bit confused because obviously they are retiring the disavow tool. And mm. I've always said it's busy work. You know, there's no point these days to kind of like you, you spend hours disavowing bad links. But this has, I don't, I don't know what to think about it now because mm. there is that feature and I, I'm, I'm hoping to dig into it a little bit further. Yeah. Just to understand, yeah. because if there is no disavow tool, how are you, you know, like, how are you supposed to be dealing with it? Yeah. If, if yeah. indeed, and this, it's, it raises questions, basically. Yeah. yeah, well, let's hope it's not AI, because based on uh, Google's recent, um, <laughs> recent track record with yeah. AI overviews is that, you know, anything with Google and AI at the moment needs to be avoided. But I think that's, you know, I think it is going to be something that potentially will be AI assisted really is that it's you know the disavow tool is something maybe that we retired because in favor of allowing the system to recognize what is you know a, a bad backlink naturally and, and, and can it has that intelligence to be able to 
recognize what but is about I thought that. that they already had that, that kind <clears throat> but of... That's what but I mean, the, but why, why is there then a penalization for it? This is what I don't understand. You can't penalize me for something that I can't solve anymore. Yeah. But maybe I'm reading too much. But that's it. But this, this, it's like a non, it's non-descriptive, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah exactly. You, know, you, you, need, yeah. You, know, you need more context, which I think Google yeah. has said themselves. But. Yeah. Well, that, that, that's the thing. But it's, you know, it is... It's interesting and it's fun and it's it's good good to question. So do you think we have more we have more questions rather than answers? We always have more questions <laughs> than answers. I yeah, think that's, that's a good point. But it's it. a good. I mean, it's a good thing. I think it kind of opens up the discussions. I've been looking into kind of the YouTube side of things and and particularly you know this NAV boost area for YouTube videos as well. And it is mentioned. Yeah. So even yeah. in, in when you're talking about search results on YouTube, there is this element of user interaction and clicks and stuff and what that actually means for, for YouTube videos. And it's interesting mm. because if, you know, what does that, in a YouTube video, what, it, what is the, the kind of, the, I can understand the clicks for how they estimate if somebody is going to click on the results and all of that. But what about the interactions within the YouTube video itself and kind mm. of thinking about anchors in, in YouTube videos and things like that. So yeah. I'm looking into it. It's all a bit fresh. I had to, you know, I had to, talking about AI, I had to like ask chat GPT to explain a couple of things to me as well, which, which was very interesting. I'm going to, when, when I put it up, it would be lovely to have some opinions on whether I got anything wrong because mm. I was looking at some of the chat GPT responses and I was thinking, oh, I'm not sure that that, that can apply here. But mm. yeah, so keep an eye, keep an eye on it. My musings around the leak and YouTube search in particular. Um, and hopefully I can get some feedback on it. Hopefully I'll be brave enough to put it out there <laughs> considering, you know, considering some of the responses. Uh, ah, just leave yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah sure. but you know how it is with social media. Yeah. But anyway, that those any other thoughts? No, I think that's that wraps it quite. Like I said, you know, more questions than we have answers. Really, um, it's good to get this reaction filmed yeah. and 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 to talk about it and discuss it. So yeah, um, yeah. Mm. And I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here till I don't know when, with my head down and in. <laughs> in the different modules and kind of trying to understand it. It's, I mean, I find it super fun. So if, if nothing else, I, I had a great time <laughs> digging into it. <laughs> well, I'm sure yeah. we'll unearth, you know, there's going to be plenty more, more things yeah. to unearth and find out and, you know, yeah, and also, exactly. yeah, theorize on what things mean. But Brilliant. yeah, thanks yeah. for uh, joining us and we'll uh, see you next time. Bye.